Certain High Court in Kano has nullified the reinstatement of Mohammed Dusanasi II as the 16th Emir of Kano. The court also nullified all actions taken after Sanasi's controversial reinstatement. In his ruling, the presiding judge, Justice Abdullahi Lehman, stated that every step taken by the government regarding Sanasi's reinstatement is nullified and rendered null and invalid. However, he clarified that this does not affect the validity of the repute Emirates law itself, but rather the actions taken by the governor, which include assenting to the law and reappointing Sanusi. Justice Lehman noted that the catastrophic situation could have been avoided if the respondent had followed due process by complying with the court order. He stated that this would have still allowed them to carry out their assignment. However, he said the respondents chose to act according to their whims and caprices leading to the current predicament. Now, counsels to both parties speak after the ruling. The application made by the claimant, or oh, sorry, the, the, the plaintiff, I can say, that he wants this court to declare the law passed, legitimately passed by the State House of Assembly, that is Kano State House of Assembly, that is the second correspondent, Nold and Boyd. But this court clearly stated in its ruling that he can, he doesn't have the wire with the, the jurisdiction and the power to declare a law that's passed legitimately by the State House of Assembly. But he came to the conclusion and agreed that though the attitude of the first and the first defendants, that is the Kano State Government and the Attorney General of Kano State, they are in disobedience of what order that was issued. That was the interim injection that was earlier issued on 23rd day of May 2024. But uh, what the law says, or the rules of the court says, that where there is violation of lawful court orders or directives, the court should what commit that person after satisfying himself with proof, has to commit that person to prison. But not to declare any of the action is that illegal or non or void or whatever. The court has nullified all steps taken after the order is made, and that those steps were taken in breach of the court order, and that is all. Subsequently, the court has granted two proceedings. Since matter is before the Court of Appeal, no court can take any further steps until the Court of Appeal determines the case at the appeal before it on the issue of jurisdiction. Okay. So, uh, so even the matter that was filed to Court 2, the Court 2 cannot, the, the, that court cannot take any further steps until the result of the outcome of the Court of Appeal. Okay. So the matter is now before the Court of Appeal. It's not Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.